Broncos versus Chiefs. All right, so the Bron- uh, Chiefs are laying eight. Total here is at 41 and a half. I don't really know about this game. I mean, the number's pretty fucking thick. Chiefs on short rest. Mahomes got dinged up. Kelsey's dating a woman that literally destroys men. Jake Gyllenhaal went broke back mountain. Have not heard from John Mayer or Harry Styles since. It's the sh- uh, Swift effect, right? In fact, it's gotten so bad, Jason Kelsey is now breaking college kids' phones. If I make a play, it's Chiefs team total under. Denver is third in points allowed, sixth in yards allowed. Say what you want about Sean Payton. His defenses show up with or without a bounty on quarterbacks' heads. Although Mahomes may have one this week. I- I'm, I'm not saying I know anything, but I'm just saying. Sharky, would it shock you at all if this ends the Chiefs' perfect run? No. I, I think the Chiefs might go down this week. It, it, it's a beautiful spot to fade Kansas City. This is where they're going to give one away eventually. 8-0 and straight up. 4-4 four and four ATS. Went to overtime on Monday Night Football against the Bucks. Look ahead to Buffalo. Short week. Trap spot. And I think, interestingly enough, this is actually their first home 1 p.m. game of the entire year. They've either played in prime time at home or 425. So the first time they're getting up early in Kansas City, I think that might actually be a trigger point for their first loss. And really going through their last five wins, it's hard to find a calendar with a team playing so many injured teams. They caught the Chargers with Herbert injured, the Saints with Derek Carr injured and Olave out. They caught San Francisco without Debo, Ayuk, CMC, and Jennings. They caught Las Vegas with a backup quarterback, just having traded Devontae Adams. And they just caught Tampa Bay without Evans and Godwin. It's just a joke of a calendar. They've been getting away with it all year. And if you go back to last year, a Sean Payton, Russell Wilson-led Denver team did actually beat the Chiefs with emphasis in Week 8, 24-9. That was the first win for Denver in 16 matchups against Kansas City. And oftentimes, when you get a new coach, a good young quarterback like Bo Nix, they will continue upward momentum within the division after being dominated for four straight seasons. Terrible spot for Kansas City. Great buy low for a scrappy Denver Road ATS team coming off a blowout at Baltimore. They will be rejuvenated. Kansas City is going to give one, away, give one away eventually. Take the Broncos at plus eight. I think this cashes, and they could win outright. I have nothing on this game. If I was going to play, it would be the KC team total under. Shark is official on the Denver Broncos plus the points. 